Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to be adding in uh, the ability to eat and drink within our survival game and this will affect our hunger and thirst within the game as well so we'll be able to add back to that after eating or drinking. So within the project here I added in a 3D model for a soda can and I added in a 3D model for a pepperoni pizza and then I also added in this uh, 3D model for some meds which could help us uh, with our health but uh, at the moment we're just going to focus on the eating and drinking and to kick off we will start with the um, pepperoni pizza we have here and these acids that i've added uh, the tree uh, soda can pepperoni and the meds uh, the links are in the description below so you can download them and use them in the project as well so we're just going to go into our pepperoni pizza here and bring this in and our pepperoni pizza is <laughs> is quite large so what we will do is uh, scale everything down I suppose 0 0.1 0 0.1 and hopefully this works how's that for size that looks good rotate so we have just minus 90 degrees and now it looks like this and we will now add a mesh collider onto this pizza slice so now when our ray casts um, for the interaction script we want to write when it hits this it will be able to detect that it's a uh, food and we're just gonna we'll put it on the plate as well just because in case you're not looking at the pizza the plate is sufficient enough as well so we have that there but now we just need to add a tag to here so we're going to come to the plate first and add a tag I'm just going to create a new tag called food Click back here on plate, add the tag as food, and the same with the pepperoni pizza itself. And then I'm just going to drag the parent of this pepperoni pizza, and I'm just going to drag it down here. And we just have to create a new prefab. Prefab variant. So now if we drag in another one of these, it has our uh, information that we have on it. So we don't have to do that every time we want to add in more food. So just to start, we'll just add in a couple of slices of pizza here. Tasty. And that's that for the pizza. And uh, now we will add in our soda can, which is also quite large. So we'll scale this down to 0.1. 0.1 and this scales this can down and we're going to do the same thing again we're going to come in here underneath the parents and on the child object we're going to add a mesh collider and it converts convex and now we will add another tag for drink back to our soda can and set the tag as drink and the reason why we're setting the tags is so when we actually look at them we can identify what they are and then later down the line we can add on a script that we can justify how much value can a soda can give us towards our dehydration versus a bottle of water so we'll be able to do that um, at a later stage but for now we're just going to hard code the values in just to get it working so I'm going to create another prefab of this uh, prefab variant. So now we can uh, reuse these soda cans without having to do anything all over again. And now we have some food and drink in our scene. So next we're going to come to our camera and we're going to add a component here and we're going to call it inter interact new script, create an ad, 
So that creates this interact script here. So we'll open that in Visual Studio. Just gonna remove these comments. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, create an integer for our raycast. So this is going to be the length of our raycast. So I'm just going to call it int ray length. And I'm going to put that as four. And now we're going to start writing our raycast here. So this is going to be the beam that comes out from our camera and that we can look at stuff and uh, interact with it, basically. So we're going to do a vector three. And I'm going to call it an FWDs for forward, and it's going to equal the transform dot uh, transform direction and vector tree dot forward. Next, we're going to do our raycast hit. We're just going to call it hit, and then here we're going to do a if uh, physics dot raycast. Transform uh, dot position uh, F W D out hit uh, and then our ray length. So this is going to basically project our ray cast now, and when we hit things, we're going to be able to interact with them basically. And here we're using our ray cast hit. So when it hits the collider that we can get information from the object that we hit. And then this is just the length for how far we want to be able to look. Like you don't want to be able to be 20 meters away and interact with something. You want to be quite close to it and look at it and interact that way. So that's exactly what this is. So from here, um, within our Raycast, we're just going to get the game object of what we are looking at. So I'm just going to do a game object temp equals hit dot collider dot game object and this was this will just allow us to interact with the game object that we're looking at whether it's a soda can pizza or medical supplies or anything else for that matter down the line and um, when we get into inventories and picking up items and all that cool stuff so with, with that object then we can now do a switch and we're going to do a switch on the temp dot tag so basically the tag of the object and I'm just going to do um, that to lower so we're just going to create that tag we're going to basically come check what that tag is but we're going to lower all the characters just so it doesn't have to be a complete match and the first thing we're going to do in our case is if we look at food and when we look at food what exactly do we want to do so we'll just do food uh, and break for the moment because we need to add in something to be able to increase our food so up here we need a reference to our survival script because this is where all our hunger and thirst and health is dealt with so we're just going to do a public uh, survival and i'm going to call this survival instance and we'll be able to use this down here then to interact with our survival system. So just within our start then, I'm just gonna do if survival instance equals no. I'm just gonna set the survival instance equal to new survival. And this is just so we don't get any errors if we forgot to bring it across, but Maybe you could just put an error here if you wanted to debug.log an error saying survival instance missing. You could do that also. But for this video, I'm just going to do it this way. Um, so down here between our food and our colon and break, we're just going to type in survival instance. And if we press dot, we can now start accessing uh, different information from our survival system. But we need to add in for when we want to add um, add food to our player's hunger. So down here, we will just do a public void, and we'll just call it add food, and we'll do a float amount, and then we can just do this 
done uh, number uh, plus equals uh, amount so we can add the amount onto our current hunger now if we go back to our interact script dot add food we can see we can interact with that now we'll give it a an amount so i'll just do plus 35 and call on so now when we interact with our food we'll be able to add uh, 35 to our uh, hunger value which will increase our um how hungry we actually are so we'll fill our belly up <laughs> And we can do the same then with our um, with our thirst as well. So we can add um, add drink. So we'll just uh, leave it like this for now. So there's one thing that we're missing from here, and it um, it's right down below. We need to actually draw our ray cast um, out. So we will do a vector tree, and we'll do forward. We'll call it forward and it's going to equal transform uh, dot transform direction and we'll do vector three dot forward and uh, multiply by ray length so now we can start actually drawing and we will just do a debug dot draw draw ray and transform dot position forward and this can really give it a oh, sorry forward and we'll just give it a color and um, color uh, green oops and that will just draw a ray cast so we can see it um, within our scene view when the game is playing and the last thing we need to add in then is an interact key because right now if we were to play and we go look at our stuff you we'll see here on our camera we have our interact script it requires our survival instance so we'll just drag our first person player because the first person player has a survival script on it so now we can interact with them through our interact script and now when we click play we can look around there's our food over there if i just come to our scene view you can see this green line drawn from the camera and that is how far we can look at stuff so if we go over and look at our food now you can see our hunger went up all the way so if you look at our hunger bar down below, I, I got confused because we generally I'm looking for debug.log, but we didn't put anything in. But if you look at our hunger, the which is the middle bar on the left hand lower side, as we look at the pizza, it'll start to shoot up. And that's great, but we need to add some interaction there. So instead of just when we look at it, that it doesn't shoot up, we want it to only happen when we press a key. So within our if physics.raycast we'll just do if input of get key code. and do key code f you can use whatever key code you would like and then we will do our uh, basically this section of code then just when we press f so that way we're not constantly rolling through this uh, switch statement and grabbing game objects we'll only do this when we're looking at something and we press f and if it meets this criteria such as the tag being food we will then be able to add our food so if we go back in game over to our food you can see when we look at it it does nothing but now if we press f there we go in the center of the screen <laughs> um, so that's great but we don't want to be keep eating the same food so what we'll add in here after our survival add food we'll just do destroy temp so this will remove the game object from the scene then after we eat it so now we're looking at our food 
removes that. <laughs> but it didn't remove the play, which is fine. We can eat our pizza now. But if we look at our soda can, we can't do anything with that yet because we haven't added the interaction for that just yet. So we can do that now. So what I'm going to do is I'll duplicate this line. I call this drink. I'll do add drink. I'm going to pass in 45. Then within our survival script, then basically duplicate this, but add drink. We'll just do this dot thirst plus equals the amount we want to add and now we will be able to interact with our drink and if i recall we did put our tag on it yeah so we have our tag drink there and now we can interact with our drink so if we look at our soda can and look at our thirst down the bottom left, you can see that I brought our thirst up. If we eat our pizza, it's now destroying our pizza. We can drink all these drinks. Delicious and tasty. So that is that for interacting with our food and our drink and dealing with our dehydration and our hunger and if you have any questions on that uh, please do feel free to ask but that's everything for this video so thank you very much for watching and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe see you in the next one